Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we have some more awesome, awesome, awesome testing footage of the Velocicoaster from Amusement Insider, and I'll link his full channel below. He always says, actually link my his channel, not the full video, so I'll link his channel below. Definitely go subscribe to him for awesome um, videos, not just the Velocicoaster, but any like, other videos as well. And I check out his channel, it's great stuff from uh, Orlando all over the country. So, as you see, Universal or Orlando uh, opened up this bypass, bypass bridge just this weekend, which revealed more awesome views of the Velocicoaster. People are now able to get up close and personal with the Velocicoaster. You see, there's the launches right there. There again is that beautiful launch, and there's uh, the first part of the coaster, and it just God, it just looks so gorgeous. And you'll see how close it gets to the guests as they traverse that bridge. It just looks absolutely amazing. It gets really close. So here it comes over the top hat. And again, I mean, look at this, and this, it goes, it does like that Top Gun stall right there, just right over you. It's incredible. Look how fast this goes, just flying through the helixes right there. Again, it's right under you. Now, it's very interesting because they have netting on some portions of the coaster, but on that particular co coaster, part of the coaster, the helix part, any of the Top Gun stall, where you go right under it, they don't have any netting. And I'm very, again, right on that Top Gun stall, as you'll see, like, right here, see, there's no net right there. So, I, I do they not think something's going to fall? I, I don't know, because they have the nets some other places, but not then. I would have thought, especially before opening it up, maybe, I mean, maybe that's possible, because see, there's the net right there. But then, when it goes over the people, there's no net. So maybe they're going to add it later, or maybe they just don't think that, um, that, uh, stuff's going to fall on you. But I'm thinking, especially on that top gun stall, sometimes a phone or something, it just can fall right on somebody's head. So I don't know what's up with that, but we'll see if Universal puts some, some netting there. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think that's interesting or do you think they should put netting there or not. If it's even like loose change or something, I mean, that's like right over someone's. It can knock someone out of it. Like a penny falls from someone's uh, pocket right on to the bridge. Like, I don't know. But again, maybe they'll put um, more nets. Again, like on that part too. Maybe they'll put some more nets. But there has been, I've seen multi-train testing. That is so cool. I think they can have the ability to run four trains at one time. And that means two trains on the Helix at one time. Which is, someone turns into like a West Coast Racers kind of ordeal. A little racing coaster going uh, there. But see again, that top one saw no net. It's very, very interesting. Uh, because it goes right under the people. We'll have to see if that changes. But yeah, I love these multi-train testing. Again. Each and every day, we're seeing so close. I know this is, I'm, I feel like a broken record, but it is because we're getting so close each and every day to at least the soft, at least the soft opening, especially as those spring break crowds come up. And I know Disney World, the parks at Disney World are sold out uh, for at least a week, the whole, sp for like nine straight days. But I know Universal Orlando is getting ready for big spring break, spring break crowds as well. So... I mean, and again, that barrel roll, sh barrel roll sh is beautiful, but I feel like it'd be a good time to soft open this thing when spring break starts, or a little bit before spring break, so we can handle spring break crowds. It's March 14th, currently, today. This video will be going up on March 15th. I, uh, in a previous video, I anticipated it would be testing by now, but, uh, I mean, not testing, but soft open by now, but I guess not, but here's another Great shot at the barrel roll right there. Look at that. Incredible. But hopefully soon. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think they should add some netting there? Or do you think it would be totally okay? In regards, in regards to loose change and everything. Um, what do you guys think about when do you guys think this will soft open? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic day.